bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. Hey, if you're new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And today we're going to be going over the things that I learned in my first year of YouTube. My top 20 is what I picked out and that's what we're going to go over today because trust me, there's a lot more. But I picked my favorite, my top 20 that I think that could help other channels just starting out in our homestead niche. So check it out. First things first, number one, or 20, whatever you want to place this at. Man, just get started. Don't put it off. You want to do YouTube? Just do it. Just get going. That's the biggest thing is just not waiting and stop making excuses and just do it. The other thing is equipment. You don't need big fancy equipment, guys. My first year in YouTube almost completely, besides like the last month, was done off an iPhone using iMovie as a mo as an editor. <coughs> you don't need fancy equipment, but it does help. The next thing is don't be too hard on yourself. Have fun with it. YouTube is supposed to be a fun hobby and you're supposed to enjoy yourself. So don't be too hard on yourself. My next one is don't compare yourself to other channels especially big successful channels because what people like and don't like is constantly changing so be yourself don't compare yourself to the other channels so definitely just be yourself do your own thing and the next thing it's called youtube guys it's called youtube for a reason <laughs> because you need to be you Nobody needs another person that they already watch. Trust me. So just be yourself. All right. Another thing is, is I'm still not used to talking to myself. And I'm not sure if I ever will be used to talking to myself around other people, family, anybody really. So that's gonna be a weird, weird feeling for most, some. It might not be a, that bad of a feeling, but for me, I'm still, whoa, I'm still not used to talking to myself and I'm still not used to filming in public. This tip's not mine, but it's a really good one and it's probably going to save me some heartache in the future. Watch out for free music. Now, when I say that, I mean, that free music on YouTube, five years from now, it may not be, it may not be free. And guess what? You're gonna lose all that revenue if you do and stick with this and get monetized. You're gonna lose all that revenue because some artists decided to uh, copyright their stuff. So watch out for that free music. That was a tip from another channel and a much appreciated one too. Lord, it is a muddy mess out today. It's about 55 degrees. I'm walking on a hillside. It is melting folks. Everything is melting around me. So my boots, it's like, Wishy slidey. What's up, girl? What's up? You a four wheel drive chicken. Whew. We had to let the chickens out. They haven't been out all winter, man. They are enjoying themselves. What's up, girls? Look at all them chickens. Well, we definitely need to replace a couple of them. You know, you always have a few that don't make it through the winter. My next tip is post upload as much as you possibly can but but don't post a video if you're not happy with it just for the sake of uploading because you won't be happy with the results <laughs> and another tip don't be afraid to ask for help from other channels you'll be surprised and who cares and who doesn't care trust me what's up girls we got a new rooster on the farm and he needs a name because he's a big boy. He's one of Whalen's offspring. <laughs> That's right, Whalen. 
You let them know who's boss, huh? What you got? Yeah, he don't say nothing much. He keeps it himself if he knows what's good for him. Hey, another thing is, if you lose your video and our audible goes to crap or whatever, don't get upset about it. Trust me. I've had it happen and it's going to happen to you a lot, but the best thing that's ever happened is I've lost the video because I've always made a better video the second time around. Hold on. Another thing. You probably are going to hear this a lot, but YouTube, it's a marathon. Slow and steady wins the race. Trust me. Don't try to rush success. Ooh, she's sloppy. And another thing, YouTube is a passion. If you're in it for the wrong reasons, you're not gonna last very long and you'll probably get burned out. So be sure that you're doing YouTube for the right reasons and you'll be fine. And another great tip is giveaways are an awesome way to build subscribers fast. The only problem is you can lose them just as fast after the giveaway is over. So keep that in mind. And another thing, be active on other channels. This means having value added comments in their comment section, being interactive in the comment section and making it an enjoyable experience for everybody watching that channel's videos in the comment section because they will flock to your channel knowing that if you care that much about somebody else's channel and what they have to say, they'll probably come and check you out. It doesn't hurt. Oh, another thing, don't name drop your channel in other people's comment sections or live feed. Nobody likes it. Uh, it doesn't work out usually. Um, trust me, it's something I first did when I started and come to realize either one, somebody's got their settings to block that out right off the bat. Two, it doesn't ever look good when you're boasting about yourself, so keep that in mind. Another piece of advice, looking in the sun. <laughs> Don't watch the sub count. It will drive you nuts. It is an emotional roller coaster that's gonna take you up and down. And trust me, it can drive you nuts if you watch that sub count religiously. Just, just roll with it. It's gonna go up and down on its own. Things are gonna change. Don't watch it too closely. Another thing I like to point out is always remember your comment section. Don't neglect the comment section. When people add a comment to your video, they are taking a piece of their time after watching your video to either tell you something or ask about something. So you better be sure that you get in that comment section and try to at least reply back. Um, there is gonna come a time, I think, where larger channels, they're not able to do this as much, but a good viewer will understand that. So be sure to not neglect your comment section. You guys trying to spot my code over here? I see you. There it is. Another piece of advice I can give you is don't get caught between feuds of other channels. It's not good for business and I suggest not doing it. You know what I mean? Getting caught in between other people's drama is never good for your channel. Trust me, nothing good comes from picking sides. Nothing good is gonna come from comments or your opinions between two channels feuding they're feuding for a reason and that reason does not include you so it's bad for business and i highly suggest stay out of channel feuds
another thing. You're gonna make a bad video. Trust me. You're gonna make a bad video. But just a year from now, you're gonna look back at those videos and you're gonna see how you progressed from your very first video to where you're at now. And trust me, it's a hell of a journey to watch. Have fun with it. And don't be too hard on yourself. Everybody's gotta start somewhere. Ooh. It is wet and sloppy, y'all. Gonna put it in full wheel drive. Here's a big one that everybody's gonna relate to no matter what kind of channel you have. You're gonna have hecklers. You're gonna have people in the comment section saying rude things. They're gonna pick you apart. It might even hurt your feelings, but guess what? Don't give them a reaction. This is what they're looking for. They want a reaction out of you. They're gonna say some stupid things in your comment section just to make you mad. And guess what? Don't give them satisfaction of that. Remove the comment, mute the people. Cause I'll tell you what, somebody gives rude stuff in my comment section, a lot of channels out there, they'll be like, hey, you know, they'll come back with them. They'll try to reason with them. They'll try to explain their side of the situation. Me. I don't care. If you're crude, rude, and disrespectful in my comment section, I remove your comment and I block you from my channel. Plain and simple. I don't ever have to worry about you ever again. So there's a couple ways you can handle that. That's how I choose to handle it. But the most important thing, don't even talk to them. That makes them more mad when you don't give them the reaction. Don't feed the troll. Oh, I can't wait for the spring. It's 55 degrees out, guys, and it's February. It's absolutely amazing. But our strawberry patch, you know, we gotta try to get this thing taken off again. We got a couple plants, some didn't make it, but we're gonna fill this bad boy up. Our raised beds, we gotta start working on those here pretty soon too. But we're gonna start seeding. And I'm gonna give Haas seeds a try for the first time. There's a promotion code on Cog Hill's channel. Uh, his, in his last video will be in his link. But if you use Cog Hill, all lowercase, Haas will throw in a uh, free um, free pack of uh, tomato seeds that Cog likes to use. I'm gonna give them a try. Can't remember the name of them right off the top of my head because it just came to me to mention it, but we're gonna give those bad boys a try. All right, folks, my last tip to you is don't get burnt out. This is supposed to be a joyful experience, a hobby that might turn into something big. The biggest thing is if you're getting burnt out and you feel like you're getting burnt out, take a break. A lot of channels that are successful have stepped away from YouTube for a few months, sometimes even a year, and uh, they've come back even better and stronger than before. So don't be afraid to take a break, because I know I'm not afraid to take a break. I upload about once a week. I have done so for the last year straight. Um, there has been times where I felt that I just didn't want to post a video today. I just didn't feel like making a video. It's a personal problem I have. I am not a, let's say, I don't get motivated very easily, folks. I am a person that will sit on the couch all day long. I can fall into a hole really quick. Uh, that's just me. That's why I do this YouTube. It gets me going. Uh, it's why we bought this place so I have something and things to take care of and land to tend to and projects to keep my mind busy. So. Saying that, I will take a break if I start getting burnt out on YouTube, but I love it. So, look at this old girl. Look at her. I'm sorry. It's all right. There might be another snow left in this winter. You still have a chance to prove yourself. I know you've done a really good job so far, and I know it. I'm not saying you haven't, but we've had our ups and downs. Some of that's my fault. Some of it's a little bit your fault. But I think, I don't want another snow. But I think you're gonna have a different job task here coming up shortly. So you're gonna get your chance, girl. So don't get depressed. I know you're sitting in here, but don't be moping around. Cheer up. Y'all, I can't wait to start using this thing this spring. Oh, I got so much stuff I wanna do. One, is I gotta start clearing some brush out. All that jazz over there, I'm pushing it down, folks. We're gonna be putting some goats and fencing over there. 
and it's gonna be sweet. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope that these tips on my first year of YouTube, the things that I learned help you. If you're a new channel starting out or you're thinking about getting on YouTube, I hope these are the tips that might help you not make the same mistakes that I made and or make your experience a little bit easier. Quit barking at me. You always barking at me. You gonna bark at me? Huh? You gonna bark at me? Oh, oh no! It's a vicious attack dog! Oh, he's so vicious! He's like, let me back inside, Dad. Let me back inside. What's up, bud? You just a mean ass old bee, huh? You just protecting the grounds, huh? Thug life, huh? He ain't playing. Run back inside. Where was I at? <laughs> so, hey, like I said, if these tips help a new channel get off the ground, get started, not make the mistakes or the mistakes I made or the lessons that I learned, they can make their experience a little bit more easier when starting out this video is a success so guys be sure to like share and subscribe please please i need you guys to subscribe if you want to see future content i'll see you in the next episode of sunny soap homestead mm -hmm.